In today's Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstration, I'm going to show you how to add rows into the spreadsheet. So here we have a very basic spreadsheet. So let's say you get to the bottom here and you've got no more rows to add any more data to and you've run out of space. Now the first way to add an extra row is press this little symbol here and when you click it, an extra row will be added. So now you can add any other data into these new rows. So again, you've run out of rows to add any data on. So you can keep clicking this little tab here to add extra rows. However, that can take a lot of time if you want to add multiple rows. So you can come to the other side of the sheet and you see this little tag here. You can click it and hold and drag it all the way down to add multiple rows. And you can also add columns if you drag it to left or right. And you can also take away columns by dragging left or right. So let's quickly Command and Z to take them rows out to get back to where we originally was. So let's say we want to add three rows here. So you'd highlight these three rows here, and then right click, and then select either add rows above or add rows below, depending on where you want the new rows to be. And once you click that, as you can see, three new rows have been added. So that's a couple of different ways how to add rows. However, if you want to add rows into a spreadsheet where there's already formulas, let's say we want to add a row between Mary and Julie, as you have a new team member, so let's select Julie's row here. So then let's right click on the row and you'll be greeted with this drop down. And as we want to add it between Mary and Julie, we'll add a row above. So now we can add the new team member. And in this case, it's Ian. But the good thing about adding extra rows like this, if you've already got a formula created, if you click the formula here below, as you can see, it is now taking in the new row automatically. So let's add 50 pound to Ian. As you can see, the total below automatically adds it up without you having to redo the total. That's a quick look how to add rows into an Apple Numbers spreadsheet. If you want more information on how to add rows, then check out this video here. And thanks for watching.